and welcome to Getting APIs to Work. In today's episode, we'll look at how does it happen that organizations have multiple API gateways, that they're managing APIs in a variety of places with different API gateways. What are the reasons for that? And what are the challenges resulting from that? To learn more about this, we conducted a survey of X-Way customers where we asked customers whether they have this situation in their organization. And we also asked them what kind of challenges they see arising from that. We turned that into a white paper so that people can learn from this survey that we did. And here with us today, talking about the white paper and giving you a little bit of a free preview of the white paper is my co-author, Jana Freyova. Hey Jana, how are you doing? Hey, Eric, right, great to talk to you again. Tell us a little bit about the motivation of the survey and which way you went to recruit the organizations that became part of the survey. Uh, we've noticed that most enterprises have several API gateways and we wanted to understand why and what challenges that brings. Uh, so uh, we decided to look into it in more detail. We conducted interviews across our customers uh, from different verticals and uh, different geographies to, to get those insights. So it turns out that there are multiple reasons why organizations might have multiple gateways in place. Can you share with us, let's say, two examples of these reasons that you found when you were talking to organizations and asked them about their API management infrastructure? That's true. We came across several and very good reasons uh, why enterprises have multiple API gateways. Um, just to give you an example um, of uh, two of those. Uh, so the first one is related to the attempt to distinguish between your internal environment and the external world. And that's for a bunch of different reasons again, including, for example, the need to have different security protocols inside and outside. Um, the second uh, example um, is a growing trend, actually, because it's related to transitioning from um, an um, environment that's entirely based on premises to hybrid or cloud and enterprises end up picking uh, a new API or uh, gateway or two in the process. That sounds very reasonable. And these are certainly some reasons I've seen in organizations where this just happens as a way of how an organization evolves over time. And I think seeing all these reasons, there are six overall, seeing them listed really helps as an organization to understand that what you're experiencing is relatively normal and you just have to manage it. So apart from these reasons, what the survey also does is it lists some challenges. And these challenges then are even more interesting, I think, because they allow you to learn more about what might happen if you have these multiple API gateways. Can you share with us, let's say, another two examples of these challenges that you found, Jana? Um, sure, having multiple API gateways that are disconnected certainly uh, raises issues of visibility and discoverability. Um, you don't really know which assets you have there, who's consuming them, and that could uh, limit um, the goals you have with those assets. Uh, could be monetization or just being able to reuse those assets for different services. Um, uh, second challenge or second example of a challenge is related to enforcing common um, policies and security standards across your organization, uh, which obviously is a lot more difficult if you have disconnected um, gateways across. Yeah, and, and once again, that sounds very familiar. I, I've certainly seen that in a variety of organizations. And I think the challenges are even more interesting than the reasons because even if you don't have them today, they might be popping up soon. So I think it's good to look ahead and understand what challenges are that you might see when you have multiple API gateways. So Jana, to conclude this brief video, just very briefly, can you give us a very brief kind of elevator pitch for the, the white paper for the results that you would give to somebody asking you, what's in there, why should I care? Um, what the results and customer insight clearly showed with a very loud voice uh, was complexity. Either you already have a complex um, IT environment uh, with a bunch of different technologies, standards, vendors, um, whatever. <laughs> um, and you have to figure out how to leverage that cost effectively and securely. 
Um, or your environment is still fairly simple, but it's going to get complex one day. So you need to be prepared for that complexity in the future. That's very well said. Thank you. I'd like to encourage everybody to look at the results. We have it available as an expert white paper. I'll link it from the description. We also have a webinar if you prefer watching videos. And I think it's really something that is very interesting and valuable to look at for organizations that have complex infrastructures. So thanks for watching. See you soon on getting APIs to work and have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye, Eric. Have a good day.